Whoa. Oh my gosh. Jesse, cheers. This white claw to you. Cheers. Thank. Oh my we, gosh. Today, folks are feeling oh. the effects from last night. Mom wasted. Can we just say that? Listen. Mom wasted. I have no tolerance. It is. I don't go out. Yeah, I I'm don't just drink. Old person wasted, I guess. Old person wasted. I just, yeah, boring. Life. I don't drink that Did much. Did you anymore. take any shots? Okay, so I have a rule against that now, right? I do too, but then I get very cocky and well, drunk. That's, that's what drunk happens when self you, is like, here she is. That's what happens She's when you back. drink with the guys, though, and that's the issue. Sometimes is it's I've, always the issue. I've caught myself in predicaments. Where it's like the guys are like, hey, let's all drink. And I try to drink like one of the guys. And it always turns out terrible for me. Girls can't drink like guys, no. though. And we so just can't. When they and buy. If you can, you have an issue. Yeah. So when they buy a man shot, which to me is a man shot is what they Do we say last this night. is drinking broettes? You guys, this is drinking broettes. Oh my gosh. I, have, I, I don't know. Maybe we it's did. Okay. Drinking this is going to be a rough show. It's okay. Yeah. A real I mean, rough they, and they weird. Know by now, right? The what? They, they should know by now. We're on yeah, seven. Yeah, Drinking Broettes. Episode Jesse seven. Jesse Wiseman. Tiffany Hart. Tiffany Hart. The gorgeous. Hungover, the Jesse Wiseman. The super pretty <laughs> Tiffany Hart. Even with the and beanie. Thank you. Listen, Especially the, the with the beanie. The hair is not working today. It's working. Sorry, it's off folks. to the side. And this is what you get. But yeah. It's one. They, it's like, okay, so the guys were, we were hanging out with three alpha males last night. The guys yeah. were playing Papa Shot, right? This is the perfect oh, the example. Game. The basketball game yeah, where you just like, they games. come down, da, da, da. This girl comes up to them, I guess, and is like, I, I'm really good, you guys. Yeah, just, I, can I bet you. I can be, I, I bet I can crush you. I'm really good. Mm -hmm. And they're like, oh, okay. I mean, sure. I mean, you're a girl, but <laughs> go ahead. Right? Like, just because she's a girl, though, doesn't mean like, she yes, can it have does. great accuracy. No. Yes, it does. <laughs> I'm so sorry. But you watch. There, she's not Do you running. watch the she WNBA? Thank you. So no one <laughs> no, does. I don't. No. <laughs> no one does. But anyways, because no. they're not good. It just doesn't work that way. But have you also watched Shaq shoot free throws? Oh well, there's Let's that come too. <laughs> there's that. Come but on. not every guy is good at it. But every girl yeah. is not. Do you know what I'm saying? Nah. That's like how it <laughs> Listen, goes. Listen, I played basketball. I'm sure you were really good for a girl. This is I one was sport. Very good at the free throw line. This is one sport that I have to say, like. There is no girl. I know, that but what is I'm saying good. is, no, I agree, but that's on a basketball court. This, this game this is different. Okay, was literally so, someone standing there shooting shots. In. All right, so she was really good. So right? it's based on talent of how well you can just shoot standing. Okay, sure, still. sure, and I hear you. So I, so yeah, she was I hear really your first good. Part. Yeah, yeah, um, and she got seventeen shots. I don't know, or twenty three in forty seconds. Okay, so I good, wasn't paying right? Attention. Ross rolls up. <laughs> What is it? What does he do? 40. Oh. Like, it's just, I'm sorry. It just but doesn't Chris fucking also told work. Me too, like, like, Ross was killing it at that but game. But that's the same thing with, with drinking, right? Girls are like, I can take shots. Oh, no. Come I'm on. Not. Like, for, you know, like, I can do it. I know and what the shots guy that I can was take. with this girl that was doing Papa shots was like, she's really good, guys. Watch out. <sighs> she's really good. Maybe he really sucks. So to him, she's amazing i think for a girl and every guy was like for a girl she was good like of you know she was getting a lot of war in that game in papa shot yeah have you though yeah really yeah in like a real way yes was 100 like, what happened i got skills girl i know but i got them never be skills. as good <laughs> Now, was it maybe As one guy time? That's good. It might have been just one time, but I okay. am going to hold on to that one time. Okay, in here in my heart forever. Right. So it's the exact same. Don't with drinking. downplay <laughs> my success, Jamie. <laughs> me, yeah, I mean, Jesse, she called you Jamie. Listen, we it's have all be a different rough names today. Show <laughs> rough. She doesn't even know my I don't even name. Know her name. She doesn't know where you where she is. But here's the issue: they they bought a dude shot, one hundred percent Irish all kinds car bomb. of like dark. Dark shots they were taking, like dark liquor shots, Irish car bombs, everything that just girls can't drink. Dude. I said, why don't you guys do fireball? And they were like, Ugh. like, that's a shot that I could do. Yeah, because it's lower in alcohol content and it is tastes better. But here's the problem that you this is your problem, though. What? So we get the shots. You put your shot of what it's Jameson or no, no, what is it? No, it's 
Bailey's and, and Jameson, right? Jameson, I think. Something yeah, like this. Inside of a Guinness. Yeah, and you drop okay. it in and you then drop you have to it drink in it, and you have to drink it right away. And you did not. You let it sit there and wait until I because I was like, I don't really want to do this. And then and I so saw I you drinking mine, it, and then I was like, then, okay. Oh my god, yours was curdled and you were drinking it. Mine I drank Stop too slow. Stop talking about it. And dude. mine started to curdle. So I spit mine back into my drink because I was like, this oh. is disgusting. And then minutes later, I look at the table and I'm like, uh, why are our drinks were drank? Uh. Like our shots were drank by the guy. So my husband drank Are you sure it was spit. your husband that drank it? He told me. He told me he drank mine. Ugh. With your that's spit. Called, that's called With love. your curdle. <laughs> it's called love. <laughs> um, that's with your disgusting. curdled spit back in yeah. anyways. I'm going to fucking Listen, puke, that's, this is guys, though, for you. Right? Not all. But, but I do, and I always, I do have a rule that I don't take shots because... I don't like to get messy. Obviously, I got a, I got a little bit messy. No, it was great. But we didn't see the messiness. At least I didn't. But you know why? I don't like to get like that because I think it's like fucking annoying. I don't want to be annoying, right? Sure. Just in general. You know why? And if I am, I want it to be on purpose because I want to annoy you. Do you know what I mean? It's, yeah. Not because I'm like trying to be cool and I'm annoying you. No, That's I get like it. talk about pet peeve. That's see, like a I nightmare. I didn't see you annoying, and I didn't see you super wasted because you know what you and Ross do. Oh, we Irish goodbye. You guys just We take an Irish car bomb and then we Irish dash. goodbye. Yeah. Without warning, folks. Like this is so the first time I thought was like we start abnormal. I was like When I take a shot, we start fighting. I said Always. maybe this is just like what they maybe this is just like a one time thing. And then I realized you guys did that. it again tonight. Yes, when you did guys we did. did. When so the was first it? night we went, the one time we went out, right? We're so, so we're singing karaoke, and like in the yeah, middle of you and Ross I, that was Ross being like, "We have to go." Yeah, in the middle of you and I singing karaoke, Ross was like, "We're gonna leave right now," and I was like, "Let me let her." I finish think I was the going song. like this, like no, yeah, like this, and then and I was he, being pulled away. Yeah, I convinced him to let you finish the song, and then all of a sudden you guys were gone, split, and it, it was it just took me by surprise. I was like. Oh, like there was no. And that wasn't even like fighting warning. or anything or drunk. We weren't even that drunk. He no. just like decides yeah. that it's time to go. And that's it. And there's did. no like long goodbye. There's no like, and see maybe you guys. So nice to that's see That's what I'm used to. Yeah. It's like, I don't know if it's like a white folk thing or like whatever of like, hey guys, we're going to leave. And the goodbye takes like 30 Forever. minutes. Forever. Because you go around to everyone. Yeah, yeah, and you yeah. start yeah. talking. Yeah. And then you make another conversation and you're like, yeah. okay, well, we're really going to leave so my now. husband is like. I mean, he's social, but there are certain things that he's socially retarded. I don't like to say retarded, well, but that's not socially retarded. He just like some things he's just like, well, this, I mean, Jared did the same thing. Oh, Jared. To, to Dan and I, when oh, we yes. all went out that one night. Like, oh, yes. Him he and, disappears. Yeah. Him and KGB just gone. Yeah. And I was like, where'd they go? Like, he didn't even say bye. Yeah. No. And I was like, really taken back. I was like, dude, we had such, we were having a blast. And did he just we left out of nowhere. Bye at least, but it was a no, quick goodbye. Did. And so yesterday <laughs> night, it was the same thing. Like Chris and I were just left there stunned with Dan. You know, Dan's just his same face. Dan knows. Face and then Dan change. will do that too. No, like if I, it wasn't us, it would have been Dan just like, really? hey, bye, I'm gone. Oh, yeah. I've never had that yet. But all of a sudden, even Chris this morning was like, dude, we were all like taking shots, broing out, took Irish car bomb. And all of a sudden Ross was like, see ya, bye. Yeah. And so Chris, being the guy he is, he's like, I'm going to, of course, give Ross shit for it. Obviously. So, and he did. Yeah. But I just thought And then funny. Ross was all trying to lie and shit. Yeah. I think also he was like, he probably, oh my God. I'm I know, burping. right? Sorry, folks. Ugh. This show at least, is at least you look cute. <laughs> no, it's not. This is, Anyways, listen, this is no, real this life. Is what this is people, who we are. This is what the this people is want. Us. Um, you look cute still. Think, thank you. you I good. think he was probably trying to save me a little bit. Like maybe, like I would, I would do that with him too. Oh, sure. Where I see him like getting doing something or about to be fucking <laughs> annoying or embarrass himself or something, and yeah. I'll be like, "Let's go, time to go." Yeah, that's what you do for oh, each other, no, you right? Do. You hook it up. No, I get it. So we well, were fine he... to me. You know what this was funny is that mm -hmm. we were all dancing, and there was times I would climb like out of our booth into another booth to mm -hmm. dance in front of our mm -hmm. table and just be silly. Yeah, you got up in inside the booth and started to dance. Had to, and, I couldn't get out, and I as a like I wanted to join in, so the minute yeah. I go to try to stand up, the guy comes over and was like, "Hey, hey, get down!" So, hey, get down! <laughs> I was like, "I love her. This uh, is my spirit animal. She's gonna dance with me." Yeah, I think that guy <laughs> telling me to get down. I don't know. Whatever. Anyways, it was fun. No, it was great. And, and I'm just giving you shit for it. 
totally. It's not like a bad thing. And I think we both talked about this where we wake up super early kind of thinking like earlier than we should. Like yeah. I would love to be able to sleep in like a guy too. Mm-hmm. They don't care about what they did the night before. They sleep until they... Well, you're a mom too. Yeah. I don't, I don't know how you so do that. So then I got the call of my kid puking. So I had yeah, to get up at super six. Early but morning. I was up anyways kind of like you know you're up a so little bit I. and you go what did i was i okay did i do that da, da, da. and you kind of like go through the night of yep. like i think it was good no, it was a great night yeah i think we had fun yeah i think we're okay but yeah i don't like talking neg- negatively about myself but i'm a dumbass drinking i am I, when i drink vodka rebels i don't know why i do it to myself it's stupid you were so fun though no no it's great don't yeah, get me wrong. yeah yeah you were a great like, time on them yeah yeah i have a blast yeah yeah it wasn't it's a terrible drink for your body number Ugh. one because it's uppers and downers right Ugh. essentially yeah and it's then pukers for me that's a puker yeah and to me it tastes great so it masks the taste of alcohol for me yeah. and that's why i think i can drink them so well yeah however at you know butt fuck crack of dawn in the morning my heart is beating out of my chest yeah and i'm wide awake you could die and i sit there every morning and go why did i do this and i do i'll do it again right it's like the nights that you have they're like i'm never drinking again and you do of course i will yeah i get like that wasted maybe two times a year though really yeah otherwise you know i have an alcohol alarm that doesn't go off till 4 30 and then I go to bed at like 8.30. So you can't really get in that many drinks before wow, last that. last night. You went crazy. Oh my gosh, I was up till one. Was it one? We had a midnight shrimp. Ooh, we did. We had... <laughs> you know what? That probably was good. It was probably good I that we ate that. I think it was good. That. Maybe not the shrimp, but wings are definitely... The wings are great. Yeah, your but husband kept to... asking about wings. Oh, yeah. And I was like, we got to get this guy some fucking well, and wings. And I saw wings on the menu. So I was like, I got you. Yeah. No, you did good. Yeah. You didn't go go up until five minutes before the um, I know. kitchen was closing I feel like an but asshole. you I didn't did get them that. the wings i didn't even know they had fucking food there i didn't either but lucky for us there's still a girl ordering food behind us so we weren't the complete asshole yes. she was and she was one of the one of those girls that likes to talk about makeup which is great totally oh, fine yeah she but loved she, our eyelashes yeah of course she did they're awesome but um <laughs> she, listen i i like, know where do you get awesome. them done i'm like rite aid <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, what? All of my super- stuff's from Rite Aid, too. Yeah, because like, she was like, I love supermarket, like, just basic makeup. And I was like, yeah, it's great. It's because cheap. you're 20. Do you know what I mean? I hate this. Like, have you seen these ads on Instagram for uh, Glossier? What is this makeup? It's like Glossier or something. No. It's something so, like, light. You just put a little shimmer on your eye. No, and you just put that. a little tint on your lip. Because the people that are doing it are like 12 years old and you're like, and they have amazing yeah, skin. Yeah. And you're you like, yeah, dewy skin. Of course. You just put a little shine on like that's not real life makeup no, for real no. people. Listen, I need coverage. I people. need complete coverage. I need you to mask all these wrinkles, all the spots. dark spots. Yeah. Um, no, she was super sweet, though. She, yeah, she was is... awesome. And they were the table that was dancing with you. Yeah, so. they were dancing with me. Those are my those are my fun drunk people. Yeah. I love it. Here's the best part. I remember this meme, like, clear as day, because it's so true. Yeah. You go to the bathroom, you end up making friends with girls, right? Mm-hmm. Girls always make best friends mm-hmm. in the bathroom. We always end you're up so talking pretty. about things. Yeah, you're so oh pretty. My oh, my God, I love your outfit. Is that your hair? Or are they, your lashes? Or they even ask you, like, oh, my God, my boyfriend's being a douchebag. What do you think? Like, yeah, all of yeah. a sudden. You're like, okay, I you guess are we're doing this. Now giving them advice. Yeah, you're Life their best advice. friend. But when you're out in a crowded bar and you like bump into another girl, you're like Forget enemies. It. Yeah, yeah. That's so funny, huh? <laughs> you like stand off. It's oh, like yes. the Western standoff. We're like, meow, 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 and yeah, yes. you're going to, someone's going to get into a brawl probably. But then you're in the bathroom and it's but like, that's I not know. Me. I'm just a dancer. No, no, no. I'm a da- I was hugging Did anyone like random get strangers mad at you? No. 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 And so that's when Those I, girls were nice. Those were super nice. Yeah, yeah. That is when I will get my feelings hurt and become maybe a little bit upset is when I'm being super nice and, and friendly. And someone's being a fucking and bitch. And someone's being a bitch back for mm-hmm. no reason. Um, That's when I'm like, oh, what? <sighs> I was just trying to be cool. Like, I don't want you to be cool. And then that's where I'm like, yeah, yeah, hey, yeah. there's no reason to be a dick. Yeah. And then that's when the t- the tables turn. Right. And me. then you're going to fight somebody. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's about to be a girl fight. 
girl fight. Do you remember that song? No, <laughs> what? It's a song. It is? Yes. I thought we were making up another no, song. Oh, that okay. It's like a rap song, an old rap song. It's about to be a girl fight. <laughs> it's gorgeous. I, I can't say. <laughs> I can't even rap. It's okay, gorgeous. Just don't. It's gorgeous. Um, let's get to some spot. No. Yeah. No, we need to. I was saying I'm having hair of the dog, and then I decided to look up where that came from. Hair of the dog? Have you heard of this? No. Everyone's heard of this, right? No. You have hair of the dog that bit you if you drink the next day to cure a, to cure a hangover. Oh, uh-huh. Um, it comes from <laughs> this old, this belief that if someone is bitten by a rabid dog, um, y- it could be, you could be cured of rabies by taking a potion containing uh, some of the dog's hair. Gross. Real gross, right? But hair Basically, of the dog. You hear it all the time. I've not That's where heard it came that. from. You wow, have never heard I hair of the dog. must live under a rock. You live a little bit under a flag, I, probably. A f- <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Say, say six so, flags. So, six flags. And I'm going to say it And then I'll now. tell you if six I'm... Six flags. Flags. Uh, I'm going to say it even more annoying. And then you say you. if I'm on my way... To, to come see you, right? Uh-huh. Then I put yeah. en, en route. En route. See? I am. I'm dumb. En route. See? Uh, in my way. <laughs> en route. <laughs> All right, let's do some Sorry, guys. fucking sponsors. You guys must really love us. If you guys are still around, listen. I cannot wait I will to tell go you this home right now. and get on my ghost bed lux. I wish think? I had one. I wish we had one last night. How that was bed was kind of rough. Uh, By the way, the Airbnb. Airbnb. How that did that end in? up shaking out for you? I I was worried. Honestly, feel I was worried Cheryl was going to come home. Like, yeah, I come feel home like, drunk so and not place remember. Re- reminded me of like a, like a grandma's place, right? Definitely. What'd you call it? the wood room? No, so like everything in there was wood. from American Horror Story. Yeah, when she comes downstairs and there's all that like pine yeah so it's, it's like that one room where it's all covered in dark pine from Walls, ceiling ceilings floors, to floor everything. and she's all oh, this pie yeah that's what that was that room that was that room um, a little scary it was so old that anytime anyone walked i think even drove by it shook the house oh my god and stop. The, like you know the vase that's on like a glass shelf you yes. can hear it you know the whole time Just, are you serious oh yeah and my dog was sitting outside of the bathroom like kind of like a guard dog and he kept like growling and kind of whining and i don't know if the him just being like excited to leave sure or if he actually saw a ghost or something like you know how like dogs have like that weird sense the other one did too it was like i wonder if it was weird cheryl and her name we don't even know it it was was in the wood room he was staring in and he Mm -hmm. you can tell he like felt uneasy and i'm like dude do you have a shit that was like a ghost it was a weird room it was a weird room but hey we survived we're here. I could have used it a ghost bed, It was definitely bed, one of those. Okay, so when you guys get Airbnbs, yeah. right? There's there's ones that are professional Airbnb where someone does not live there. They're Absolutely. literally just renting it. And then there's the Airbnbs where you know that Cheryl like stayed at a friend's house mm-hmm. while she, while you guys stayed at her 100%. full-on house. Or she has like a beach house or something, too. Like I think a maybe- that was her house. That right? One. No, it was like she was waiting for you guys to leave so she can come home and like be in her house. Yeah, maybe. right. So that that was the kind of Airbnb. I, those are real difficult for me. If I know the people was like we're just there, and mm-hmm. then they're like I'm staying at their house without them there, and then they're gonna come right back. I do like the ones that are like basically a I hotel. Agree. You I know, honestly, that they, once I can find it, there were so many booked that I just had so to. So weird. Oh well, yeah. for holidays, the holidays, yeah, yeah, exactly. But what we're really talking about is ghost bed, not yeah. sh- not Shirley's pl- place. Well, not Shirley's Shirley pine. or Cheryl or Cheryl, whoever if had we ghost named beds her, yeah, in horror in oh, her place, you'd be fine. Any you'd be pimping, yeah. Any Airbnb that has a ghost bed can probably ask for more money. What do you think? <laughs> I agree. Right, you can up the price. I think. Yeah, it's um, in the description of your stay. You will be sleeping on a ghost bed. Yeah. So therefore, that's why we add in a fifty dollar fee. Like, yeah, because you're sleeping exists. on basically. You should advertise clouds. it. Ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros um, is our landing page. And what are they doing right now? I think they are probably doing twenty five percent off everything. Possibly, it may be over now, but they're always having a deal, and it's always fifteen percent off for 
uh, military and first responders. So you guys are fucking good. Gotta for love me, it. little civilian dum dum, I have to wait for their deals, which are pretty good most of the time. They're amazing. Their sheets. Really? Yeah, I just got a new set of their sheets. Are amazing. I'm kind of. I'm a not sheet even joking. Snob, even though I've never really had great sheets. Isn't that weird? I know this is that's very contradicting. <laughs> Stop. I've stayed um because I don't want to pay for them myself because they're super fucking expensive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I love. But you like, just want super awesome sheets. You want other people to have really I, good sheets. Yeah, when, that, I stay when there. you stay there, like hotels and everything. But you yourself, we have an. Well, actually, you, Chris did buy some pretty awesome sheets. Yeah, I remember his like buddy one. Was, they were like hundreds of dollars. So they're nice. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Excuse me. Yeah. Okay. Listen, he had to win me over somehow. Oh, and I was my like, goodness. Hundreds of hundreds. hundreds she I says. don't know what the thread count is, but I'm sure it's fancy. Well, it's hundreds of dollars. Um, Ghostbed.com yep. forward slash drinking bros. And yes, it is drinking bros, not drinking broettes, because we're just going to keep it the same all the way across the board. Make it easy for you guys. Are we the drinking bros? No. We're the drinking broettes. Bro but you can still, we can still use their promo code absolutely next up we have luke blair mm -hmm. um do you have one open over there oh my god no i had one open yesterday mm. and i was drinking it mm. it was delicious with your cabernet because you're know. fancy i i think you're some people so would probably fancy. be very no nope. put off by that they just need to try it though yeah try it because it was that good don't knock it till you try it exactly l-u-c-b-e-l-a-i-r-e dot com drinking forward slash drinking bros um this stuff is really good i still have a box at my house um it's probably gonna go pretty quickly but i saw it at the store and they're 40 bucks a bottle so you need to get a box and you need to get use our promo code and get um i think the 20 15 20 percent off whatever it is and it will knock them way down to I think like 20, 20 bucks. That's good. Though. A bottle. That's so good. And then Especially you can bring an expensive well bottle somewhere and look like a baller. And Listen, it is really good. I literally sometimes, if I don't know the brands, I will buy a bottle that looks legit. Yeah, right? that looks it legit. Looks fancy. Yes, or you see like looks what it nice. used to cost, and then you get it for the deal, and you're yeah. like, okay. Or and this this one for sure, a hundred percent, I would buy solely based upon the looks i've never tried it before i know it looks so fancy and it's really good and actually. then once i have it i'll be like this is probably gonna be my go-to i've never been a super big i saw some guy last night a guy mm -hmm. at the yosaki that we were that oh, we were yeah. at having like a flute of champagne nah -uh. yeah like kept that was his like drink for the for dinner whole night yeah and i was like oh a flute of champagne. Was Interesting. It, was it the guy, guy with like the conkle? She's oh my god. The, necklace? Um, he, we saw a guy with a re a real person with a puka shell <laughs> necklace, tight hat backwards, super tight hat backwards. It, I'm talking like he old was the 2000 real necklace, like the ones yeah, yeah, that are yeah. like the squared shells, like all like squished together oh on that god. necklace one. Not like a whole seashell, but the squared ones that are cut out. How do like you fucking in sync used to wear back in the day? How are you that unaware of like what everybody makes fun of? I don't know. Good on him though. I he mean, was, sure. I mean, good on him for rocking it and just absolutely being and fine not giving a shit. With it. Do you remember, Creed? What? Do you remember the guy last night? So there was a guy last night. Um, he was at the dive bar that we were at, and there was a very interesting crowd at this dive bar. Very interesting, eclectic, very eclectic. Because it's kind of a hipster dive bar, but then you'll still get yeah. the people that want to go to a dive bar. Well, yeah. this gentleman had a button-down shirt and. He barely had his shirt buttoned. Like, and you can tell that he was doing oh, it yeah. purposely. Because, <laughs> like, where it's, like, one. You can yeah. tell he was doing it purposely. Very like, Barnes He Courtney, wanted his yeah. chest to be exposed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I went up to him. I said, excuse me, sir, you're missing a few buttons. And he goes, and he looks down, and he goes, this was done purposely. And I was like, Did oh. you say it like that? Yeah. Or you were like, I saw you pointing at him. Yeah, and I you was were like, hey. I was just, like, I was doing it to be funny. Right. And like, th like, and sarcastic because I was like, and he really? did not get it. And he was, he looked down. He was like, it, I meant to do this. Mm. It's meant to be like this. And I was like, oh, okay. Like I acted stupid, but I was like internally laughing like my ass off. Like <laughs> that's so funny. Because I'm just, just nice like away. that, but sarcastic. Right. Like if he took it seriously, fine. If he mm. didn't, fine. Yeah. Either way, you're not sure being mean. No. Um, Give I him need to, the dude. I need a ride to my car after this. <laughs> <Done>. <laughs> Can you believe that? Who do, who am I <laughs> to my Tahoe? 
Hey, at least it's not a minivan. I should. <laughs> I, we were talking about this last night, I and know. like, I should. Everyone I, with kids, you guys, should have a minivan. I say I'm not dogging anyone who has minivans. Oh my gosh, I might have You're one. You're doing of those. it right. No, I probably will have one of those because they're pe- like they're great. They're cars. so nice. Yeah. It's low to the ground. The doors open by themselves. The kids can just walk in. You don't need to put them in. Yep. Sh- like the car that I have and it's lifted makes my life so much harder. But I will. God, if I would just bite that bullet, yeah, my life I can see your would Tahoe be easier. Being hard for it's hard, when and I'm some like the kids five to too. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, <laughs> you're like I can barely get in. I it. can barely get in it, and I need to lift a baby up into the thing. It's stupid. Oh, yes, but I, I have think about to that. not. I have to because with have the, the van, minivan. why you can literally just arms extend oh. straight out, plop the baby. Oh in my gosh, seat. I can go down probably. Yeah. Oh, and the doors open up by themselves, right? And press and the button by themselves, shh, shh. so you don't have to worry. Yeah, because they're now very nice. See, my parents right? had Astro vans. Perfect. So Me at too. the time, you know, you had to open it by hand. God, what a task! Can you imagine? We had the van that the back seat would fold down into a bed. Which okay. we loved as kids because yes. we were like, this is great. We had the captain chairs that would turn around. They could turn around. Oh, my goodness. Yes. They had blinds. Was a minivan or a full van? I told you it was, a- it was Astro van, right? Like one of those it's bigger, Oh, it's like a bigger, okay, okay, Astro okay, okay. vans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had the blinds. Oh, my gosh. And, oh, man, I felt So the rape van. Kind of. Okay, but okay. It was a very nice one. It was like teal yeah, yeah, yeah. with a gray inside until it got stolen. Any shag carpet in there? No, no shag oh, okay, carpet. Okay. We had a big old TV, like an old school TV in there inside of a wooden case in between the both of the front seats. Oh my gosh, I didn't know you were so fancy and, and rich. A, and at... <laughs> oh my god, and you lived the old life. cellular phone. Oh! Like the, the older ones. I think, I think. I'm not sure. Did I'm you just, live in a mansion? It was... I gotta be honest. I once we got this, I was like, "Oh my gosh!" Because we didn't have much as kids. Like we honestly didn't. You know what I mean? Oh, it's okay. Me, we Brad. all do it. We didn't have much as kids. Yeah. And uh, it was one of those things where, like, this was a big deal for us. It's a big deal have, for everybody. To have, and we got it from my dad. Oh my god! Boss I would have died to have that van. We loved it, especially for died. road trips. Because yes. we always would drive. We never flew because it was a lot of money. Yeah. To Ohio or Florida, and so it was great. Oh my god! Yes, yeah, so we would be like, "Hey, can we like lay down in the bed?" My dad's like, "Yeah, put your seatbelt uh, on, no. And we wouldn't put our. Se- my mom would be like, "Put your seatbelt on, you know." And like, but wink. don't. Yeah. Oh my god! So we were like, oh, "Okay, this is great." What a dream! <laughs> it was great. And then, well, it sucked once I turned sixteen, and then I got my dad's Asha van as your car handed down to me, and that was legit the rape van. It was a white paneled van. Like maroon inside leather. So you were driving around uh, raping people. Oh no! Okay, I bear. So you were I, just I having even kissed a boy yet? For God's sake! And you had a full and on I had a full apartment on, on wheels. Basically. I know, and that's what everyone kept saying to my dad. Like, why would you give your daughter a exactly. bed in her van? And he was like, "Have you seen her?" No, I'm kidding. <laughs> She's <laughs> fine. Don't worry. He didn't say that. I wasn't an ugly kid, but he was just like. I was innocent. Like there was yeah, no way. He's like, like no. I was like, I don't I, have to worry. Boys have cooties. I don't. Even, I don't want to kiss one. You know. Oh and God. so yeah. So the then you didn't really use that van for what it was intended for. No, I did for. not. I drove it like a maniac, and I weaved in and out of traffic. I told you I was. Um, I would race my buddies who were who drove their oh, eclipses, yeah. and you had like a V eight and their in there. Civics, and I still beat them. What? Who, who? In my van. I was oh my gosh. Through the traffic. You know, evading from the cops. I was so cool. <laughs> so cool, dude. You are We're, like bragging hard right oh, now. Oh, so hard. But you know what? I will say good memories. It was funny. It was oh, fun. Hell times. yeah. You know what I mean? You know, there's like this culture now uh, or this thing that people do kind of like motorcycle clubs, they mm. do vanning. And I really fucking and they like get these old vans like this and they deck them out. They have to look a little bit old on the outside, but they uh, deck okay. out the inside and really? then they drive them around to places the same way that you did you would a motorcycle. Yeah, and they all like go together vanning. No way. Look this it is up. A thing? It's a thing. I wish I was that cool. Like I want. Wait. So, so what bad. do they Maybe push? What get... do they put inside? Oh, there's all kinds of stuff. If you look up vanning right now, like, uh. 
the I'm gonna coolest look up Fanning. shit. Very, uh, I mean, hipster a little bit, but really cool. Vanning is a type. No, nope, this is completely different. It's giving me a Vannon. Let's try it. Wow, Vannon, 1978 to 2008. They show. Wow, Vanning Club. Years and years and years of this. Yep. Oh yes, dude. That I had Hardcore no idea this was a thing. Vanners, dude. Facebook. Let's join the group. Uh, no. You know I have You don't seen want to be a hardcore no. banner? You know what I've seen people do? So Vans to me, if you're going to pimp out the inside of it and just go crazy, I feel like it's still too small, right? Have you seen the people who yeah. take uh short buses? Oh, right? and like or even make- like or even a bus. And I've seen I think there's a couple and they're I was on conceived social on media. One. Yeah. Were you? Uh huh. Of course you were. Yeah. From driving from uh, East Coast to you would be. West. wait was yeah. it a, was it a bus that was converted into kind of like a home on wheels like a yeah like a like an RV yeah made into an RV yes there you go oh you would I love it oh my god That's... with a parrot dogs in there <laughs> oh yes the parrot was like yeah hello Her? yeah hey baby <laughs> little just... to the left yeah well I've been seeing it's like a new thing not new thing but I guess it's coming back. And people have been doing some amazing stuff with them. Oh, hell yeah, dude. And they're posting their whole travel, um, the, some the Pinterest whole life shit. on social yeah, media. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's a couple who have legit probably five or six golden retrievers. Yes. Oh, yeah. And it's just them two traveling around in their like amazing bus RV. And it's beautiful. They see some of the most gorgeous sights. So I'm living vicariously through them. Because I don't really want to do that. Right. Did really? they deck it out like they have money, obviously? Oh, no, they have money. Yeah. Like everything is whitewash paneling mm-hmm. or like the, um, oh, what's like that? Like leather, white, everything. White leather. Like everything's white. A dark white blue and tan. accent. No, everything's gorgeous. Wow. And they have all like the furry, fuzzy rugs, the shag rugs over everything. It's oh like, my an, God. I know. I know it's really nice. So that's a new so thing. that's not vanning, but yeah, van is still too. It's too small to like travel in, uh-huh. but that's why it's just to like, you know, you drive it to the fucking bar Did in your, the same way that like motorcycle clubs are. You know? Yeah. Did your parents inside of their uh, bus happen to do the pot? <laughs> You're such an idiot. Grandma, I said that yesterday. What'd you say? Um, I what was I talking about? Some older lady, maybe it was the lady whose Airbnb. Oh, I was Grandma that. probably does the pot. I but said Grandma you probably does joking. the pot. Yeah, and that was got, how you seriously said yeah, it. Yeah, right? you and Chris were like, "Does the pot? Who are you?" And, and I was like, like, "Who's the grandma in this situation?" I didn't situation? say does the pot. I said does pot, or I don't know what I said. I think you said does. The weed? Does the weed. I think I said does the weed or but something. But not, not joking. No, not joking. Yeah, in a serious way, you said does weed. <laughs> I don't know this. And lady. grandma in the same sentence. And yeah, <laughs> me and your husband were like, who's what? the grandma? Are you, you're the grandma, <laughs> you're, right? Like, you're, you're the grandma. You literally just said that. You are. I am. It's okay. I embrace it. It's okay. I might not say everything right. It's cute. It's endearing. Be, we love it. You know, grow, grown up. I might have grew up. May not be in root. Like me. Yeah, in route to... <laughs> in route to growing yeah. up. <laughs> you know what? Hangovers oh, are just midnight get trip. harder and harder as wh- you get older. Oh, my gosh, dude. You know what I mean? What else gets harder? Everything? I feel like everything. Getting ready. I feel like, for me, I can get ready so quickly when I was younger. And now... Yeah, it's like the makeup thing that I'm talking about. Yeah, like, you just put hair, a little bit makeup. of... Yeah. Huh? I didn't have to do huh? anything. I had naturally... Two hours skin. now it takes me. Yeah. I feel to like do I'm constantly everything. upkeeping and doing maintenance, in all honesty. And when I don't, it's it's bad. <laughs> and when I don't. And then I look in my 10 times mirror and I go, Ugh! oh my gosh, don't ever do that. Oh, Why do, do that. you do that? Actually, the other day, Chris and I were, I feel really bad about this. The other day, Chris and I were having a pretty serious conversation. Okay. And I um, was rubbing on my chin, like underneath. Oh my gosh. And I felt a dark hair. A whisker, yeah. And I got up. And walked 10 feet to my mirror. Sure. Mag- my magnified mirror. Sure. While we were still having a, having serious, a serious conversation. conversation. And I plucked That it. you should have been listening. I was. Like you should have been listening. I was listening. And I, like. We're very good multitaskers. I plucked it. And I came back. He goes, really? What did you really have to do right now? And I, and I oh was, my gosh. When you find it, you I, do have I to do him. it. I said, listen. You have when to. I, when I find the dark hair. Because you'll lose it. When I find the dark air, I have to 
get rid of it at that moment because I can't have it just sitting there and forget about oh it later on. Oh my god! On. You feel it? <laughs> it has to be gone. Before. That's why I have tweezers in the car. I have the car tweezers. Oh yeah, yeah. Tweezers everywhere. Yeah. So when you do feel it, oh my god, you can get it I right know. away. So that's part of getting older. That sucks. I've never had to do with that as a yeah. child. Whiskers. Um, Chris and I will go to like trampoline parks, and we we know we know that we're in really good shape. Sure. Right. Um, and I remember being on trampolines all the time as kids. Oh yeah, it's never, like, no big deal. Never it was just me fun. once. Yeah. Now I get on it, and we get with his daughter, and we're hanging out, and him and I are like out of breath. We are sore. Oh like my God. hours later, we're like, this is this is growing. Up. <laughs> this is going up. Dun, even, dun, dun, dun. even Disney World, and all oh, yeah. like our walking well, you and were standing way too all old day for Disney, Disney World. But, I know, but walking and standing all day, mm-hmm. right? And him and I just being at the park all day. We would get home at 9, 9 p.m., 9.30, maybe 10. Yeah. And we both would pass out. And I remember even at one point, I think we're on like day two or three. He looked at me. He's like, is this what we've become? Oh, yes. And I was like, I guess so. He's like, we are literally our parents. You know what I mean? Kinda, yeah. Like, it's, it, you kind of have this like, we. I mean, of course, our parents were our age once. Surprise, oh, yeah. surprise. But you know how you think this will never happen to you? And then it does. And you sit there and go, wow, we're getting older. This yeah. is harder. Yeah. Um, Everything's harder. Mm-hmm. Mm. Hangovers. But you know what's great about getting older? What? We get wiser. I mean. Kind of. Sometimes. We get more boring. No. Uh, we I get wiser like- in some things, and then we get completely out of touch in others. Sure. Do you know what I, I can mean? see that. I feel like we come like, more. Yeah, we can give advice to people. And they're not going to take it because they're like, whatever, boomer. Yeah. Well, you know what I mean? But we're way too young to be boomers. It's true. Way too young. But well, I guess people that, like to use that term now yeah, for everything. Yeah, they use the term for everything. Um, so even if you're not old, people are still using that, which makes zero sense. Yes. Uh, did you see this Lindsey Vaughn thing? No, what? That she, her, her and her fiance, so fucking stupid. All right. So her and her fiancé are engaged again. This time, she popped the question. Ooh. A couple things. You're being, you're getting engaged twice. So stupid. Mm -hmm. You're dumb. So they broke it off? No, they were engaged already. And then she asked him again. On our second anniversary, I returned the favor and asked PK to marry me. And he said yes. On the second anniversary of what? Like of them? Of them getting engaged. Wait, so they've been engaged for two years? Mm. That's a long time. Hmm. Is it not? It's kind of like shit or get off the pot? Yeah, basically. Type At that age? Come on. Well, how old is she? Um, She's 35, I think-ish. Probably. Well, I, I know that, you know, there's been some people who talk about, um, hey, I've been with my, my buddy, like my, I've been with my dude. Mm-hmm. For like five years, six years, however long. And I figured that maybe he would pop the question here soon. You would think. And he hasn't. And apparently there's been some relationships have been like, he's just not ready yet. And to me, to me, if I'm in a relationship for even three plus years. Yeah. And the the dude is not 100% sure. I think even after a year, if you're not sure that you want to marry that person. Or get, or like, Yeah. Then if you want why are you to with at them? some point? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Codependence. And I don't know. I know that when we're younger, sometimes we don't know these things yeah, yet. She's because I didn't. Right? Yeah. Um, but as I've gotten older, in the second time around after my pra- after like, you know, the practice marriage, like oh, everyone's yeah, yeah. gotta have Got that one out in there. The way. Yeah. I definitely knew what I wanted. And so for me, when it came to dating, it was either you date for fun just to enjoy life for a bit, mm-hmm. right? So it's you. I know 100% is that serious, yeah, and yeah. you voice that immediately. Or it's like, no, hey, I'm I'm serious. I'm looking for, you know, the next man I'd like to marry. Yeah. And there was no fucking around, at least for me. Yeah. You know, and we knew what we wanted. And so when I met Chris, I was like, okay, this I is definitely when you go through marriage it, material. Yeah. When you go through enough breakups mm-hmm. that suck. Yeah. Then you're like, okay, dude, I'm not going to do that for nothing. You sure. know what I mean? I'm not going to do it for if I, ha- if I have a breakup like that, it's going to be because, you know, we something else didn't work out. Not mm-hmm. that we just like, meh. You know yeah. what I mean? No, yeah. I agree. But I think it's a little um, unique for a girl to ask. I think guy. it's stupid. Do you? 
Yeah, you don't? Pink did that too, and we know who fucking wears the pants in that relationship. Well, I don't... I don't even say it's stupid because I think everyone, everyone's different. Everyone's relationships are so different. And I think it's so, it might be stupid for you, but for someone else, it's just like, the guy was never going to ask. And I guess I, I just know I needed to. That's totally fine. Because there are in some this relationships instance, where you're guy, already engaged. Yeah. He already asked you. You said yes. Maybe you it's a just want to make some kind of feminist thing about it and it's not if you really like out of nowhere if she really out of nowhere asked him yeah cool like that's fine if that's the kind of relationship that you have and the guy's fine with that and that's not going to make sure. him feel shitty about himself and all of that yeah then go ahead demasculate him but this she got both right so she got asked by the guy said yes now it's a no-brainer and now she decided to ask so him again of course he said yes you're already fucking engaged i know but she wants to make it some like why can't girls ask guys? Too? Oh, she did like, make it like that. Yes, but it's publicly. Like, yes, she put it post on uh, on Instagram. Oh, she did. So, oh, okay, so it's I, like so she was trying to send a message, which I is guess. fine. If that was the first fucking engage, do you know what I mean? I know, but you know what I think about this stuff and the whole like celebrities in Hollywood. I feel like half the shit, maybe even more than half the shit that they probably do, is for like pub- pub- uh, publicity. Publicity. Yeah, no, stunts. you're right. But uh, in this instance, to get I'm just attention like, to spice up their career to I don't, anything. Yeah. Right. I mean, think about it. You see. Yeah. Big but that's celebrities what I mean. You're making a, on yeah. shows like TV shows that are kind of like stupid. And you're like, why are you on this? Oh, it's because you want to spice up your bring back. So, career yeah. Your public because it's not doing that do great it. right now. Yeah. 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 And that's fine. Sure. I just think. This is very blatant. Like. You're trying to act like a feminist or something Mm -hmm. when you already got engaged a traditional way and now you're going to like give him a Christmas present is all you did. That's weird. You gave your fiance a Christmas present. You didn't fucking get down on one knee and ask him to marry you and you didn't know if he would say yes or not. That whole fucking shit. So she gave him a ring. Go out and buy the ring and like be nervous. So because she gave him a ring, they both have rings. Aren't they technically like almost married now oh my god you you don't want me to say it's stupid but it's (laughs) fucking stupid well no this situation this dumb this particular situation is dumb it's just so blatantly trying to To be something right we also might not understand it all however from our outlook no and they can do whatever they want but if you're gonna put it out there and you're a public figure like that and it's gonna be on you know on perez hilton and all of this i'm allowed to fucking say it's talk about it right i love it Oh, but so if you have like a private relationship, whatever fucking works for you, fine. But if you're going to put it out there, then I'm allowed to criticize it. No? Yeah. No. Oh, yeah, I agree. We're engaged again. Oh, yeah. She said, talk about equality. It's not. She, she said, we talk about equality, but actions speak louder than words. Men should get engagements ring, aga- engagements rings too. Wow, I cannot talk today. I'm sorry, folks. And this is what PK deserves. This is what he deserves, people. That's what she posted on, um, I guess, social media. That's her f- that's her flexing a little bit, I feel like. Like, sure. he fucking got down on one knee. He got you a ring, but you're rich as hell or whatever. Yeah. And you needed to flex a little bit, too. That's what it feels like to me. Men it doesn't should feel get, like a she's genuine. She's trying to change the whole script of things. She's like, men should get engagement rings, rings too. Rings, too. And so, in okay. a sense, she's kind of telling women everywhere, if you're not getting your dude an engagement ring, it's because it's what he deserves. Well, it kind of seems wrong. And so... I'm rewriting the script here. Yeah, because you're rich, dude. And you're retired and you're bored. Yeah. Not all. Uh, we have jobs. <laughs> not gonna we get, have lives, We people. have lives, dude. I'm not going to get fucking engaged again. As much as I want to think that their lives are pretty similar to ours, I don't think that they are. No, they aren't. When you have you know? that much money and that many people around you either doing stuff for you telling you mm-hmm. you're awesome telling you like everything like she ran that by somebody and they were like awesome that's a great and, idea that's a great idea you know what do it and if anything instead of someone being like really like bad press why is still good press that's right maybe isn't that what they care. say in the maybe biz? she didn't run it by anyone but anyway come on you're the actress isn't that what they say in the biz that what bad press is still good press uh, like you no. want people talking about you no matter what so uh, no no 
I'm, I'm sure ha Harvey Weinstein would um, <laughs> fucking uh, disagree with you. But yeah, yeah, but didn't he get every? Wasn't everything dropped on him? No, he still has a criminal criminal um, case. Does he? Yeah, he his he settled his civil didn't case someone pay with twenty five million. Yeah, the uh, his movie company had insurance, so oh. the insurance for the oh Weinstein company, yeah, paid twenty five million, which is by the way fucking nothing because after lawyers and after whatever, these girls are gonna get nothing. But at least he paid something out, and it kind of admits guilt a little bit. Y sure, but he still has a criminal. He still needs to wheel that. Do you see him in the Walker? No. I don't pay attention to that. He's now there. going into court in a, like looking all frail oh with my a fucking God. walker with the tennis balls on the bottom. So they purposely did You're that. You're telling to me Harvey Weinstein. Yeah. Because they want. Of sympathy. It, he's doing the, uh, cro the co oh my God, Cosby. See, I'm telling Holy you. Holy shit. Words are so hard oh God, today. We're almost done. We're almost done. It's okay. But uh, it, he's doing the Cosby model of like making it seem very, you know, putting yourself in a really frail yep. position so that Cosby you did get the same some thing. kind of sympathy. Yeah. See, this is like, I learned this stuff from Law and Order. Oh, yes. You know what I mean? When you see like the defender or the prosecutor or whatever saying like, hey, yeah. look this way. Mm -hmm. They did the same thing with Casey Anthony, didn't they? They yeah. made her look like. Oh, yes. They want to make her look innocent but also still beautiful mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. and i mean she's a very beautiful woman i mean shit dan has a crush dan wants her oh my gosh he should that's that's that would be a perfect he should go to ohio and find her relationship yeah. perfect um perfect but psychopaths they they purposely did that too right to yeah make her look like all an innocent mother stuff. all kinds of stuff like that dressed yeah. in a certain way mm -hmm. where it was still appealing yet innocent and yep they always prep crazy. you like you get you know what I mean? Before you but get does he really stand. need to be in a walker? Like, does he really need the walker? They said he had a back injury from some car accident, which I feel like would have been news. Anybody? Sure. Would we have heard about Harvey Weinstein in August getting in a car accident? Probably. I feel like maybe the car accident is karma. It's called karma. No, he's trying to fucking act. I mean, with get... the tennis balls on the walker. <laughs> I mean, please. You're a fucking millionaire. And we still have the fucking tennis, tennis balls. Ball. <laughs> he probably oh just my paid. God. Like an older gentleman outside the courthouse, like, hey, and then here's here's a couple grand. Let me steal this walker. Yeah, from exactly. Him. Take that walker from that guy. Like it's, it was oh, like hey. an old school, like, hey, lawyer man, look what I just found. Yeah. Hey, should I use this? Should I, this is a good prop. Oh my god, he's right because so he's an actor. He's terrifying, right? He is. Have you ever met him? Terrifying. No, oh my uh, god. Have you? I didn't go up into the hotel room. But have you um, met him? No, I've oh. never met him. No, okay, I probably didn't know. No, I've never met him. Okay. But I think that he just seen. I don't know. From everything that I've, I mean, he looks heard creepy. in recordings and everything. He's terrifying. Yeah, terrifying. He's just a fucking really I didn't creepy, crazy creepist. Pay too much attention to that, to that whole thing. I, I mean, mean, unless it was on the news, really, like not really go into depth. But I'm sure it was the accounts from other women. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I probably wouldn't want to listen to it. To be honest, no. I mean, it's a lot of. It's a lot of stuff that you're like, yeah, you know, like they go up into me. They go up into the hotel room yeah. to meetings to have a meeting with Harvey Weinstein. Yeah. I mean, as we get older, right, we learn to not go into the hotel room mm -hmm. for the meeting. But anyways, that's where a lot of the stuff happened. And then it was like massaging and watch like what? watching him shower. He what? came out naked. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't always like rape you know sure but that's it, still i that would still oh, make me all feel super creepy it was just all super creepy and the only thing that we like we paid attention but if you are from california or if you're in the industry at all from way back in the day it was just something that we all knew right so it was like harvey weinstein and others would do certain things oh so people knew this yeah so you either you know it there's always knowledge. the joke yeah Oh. It was always the joke. It was like an open secret. And so when people say that they didn't know anything about it, that's when people get pissed because they're like, you no, absolutely you knew. knew and you were just covering it up like or you just didn't want to deal with it or sure. it was just an open secret. And holy shit. After the Me Too thing, then people are like, well, we're not going to have open secrets about rapists anymore. Like we're going to kind of so prosecute. In a way, all those people were kind of enablers. Yeah. So you go back to like, you know, Meryl Streep. Hillary Clinton, all these people have all, you know, pictures with him at parties and events and, yeah. events and they, you know, 
Because if you know Harvey Weinstein, if you've ever even heard his name, it's synonymous with casting couch, right? But you're just kind of like, well, that's never going to happen to me. I'm never going to get called into Harvey Weinstein's hotel room. I'm just not at that level actress-wise. Do you know what I mean? I'm not big budget movie actress. So he only did that with big budget movie actresses. So he it, he had a really big budget movie company, right? So uh-huh. he's making the Shakespeare in Love and the... You know what I mean? Okay. Just bigger movies. I was more independent actress, whatever. Uh-huh. But you just never thought like you would ever get in that room anyway. Yeah. So you're just kind of like, well, sucks for them. Either they, you know, did something with him to get the part or they didn't. Right. OK. That was the choice. But no one knew. Did, so did anyone talk about it, though, after? Like, did any of the girls talk to anyone and say, yeah, they like, tried. Hey. Yeah, they tried. But they either, were all paid off. So they were either all- situation, though. Because I can see both situations happen. Like, oh, my God, don't go up to his hotel room. This is what happened to me. I'm traumatized. Or yes. I can also see, and this is fucked up, but I can see this. Some people will do whatever they can to get ahead. Yes. They don't care because business is business. I can see some girls saying, hey, just to let you know, I know it's not ideal, but if you did a couple things with him, Allowed him to get away with whatever. Kept Give him a massage and watch him shower. You you'll would be, get. But you'll get an Oscar. You'll be like, in a hit film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and so there yeah. was that where people would kind of, the you know, we would all have conversations of like, would you? I don't know. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, sure. I don't know. It's a, it's a I really don't know. But moral thing. Like, so everyone's he, different. He paid off a bunch of people, which is how it was an open, open secret where there were people that were speaking out, but he would just pay them off. And then mm. they would sign an NDA and they weren't allowed to talk about it. Right. So he had a bunch of these payoffs all over the place. Rose McGowan being one of them. So is this how the Me Too movement started? Because of him? Uh, kind of. Like yeah. one woman. Like, well, the New York, uh, I think it was the New Yorker broke Ronan Farrow's uh, story that he had been working on for a really long time against Harvey Weinstein. Oh, and okay. once that came out, it started the Me Too because I think somebody put something, some hashtag that was like, well, this me happened too. to me too, right? Wow. And then it kind of went from there. You know what? That does help, though. There, I feel like there's so many people out there who feel lost or, like, alone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they feel like they're the only ones or they're, um, they're embarrassed that they even were they in even that situation that they don't want to tell anyone. Because this is what happens with rape victims, too, yeah. or sexual assault victims or anyone. Yeah. They feel like they're alone in this. Or they if, did something yeah, or, to make it happen. Right? They feel like it's their fault. Mm-hmm. Or they feel like if they tell anyone, no one's going to believe them. Mm-hmm. Or on top of that, like if they do tell anyone, people are going to think that they actually are lying. Yeah. Any Anything, right? And it's kind of like the what they call it, the survivor's guilt. Yeah. Um, and when one person is able to speak out on it or say, no, this did happen to me. A lot of then times you start to realize that you start it was hearing, bad yeah and going oh my gosh no this did happen to me too and it gives you the courage mm-hmm. you know to do to come out with it yeah because i've seen that happen before so that was the whole movement and i think it was good i mean it got out of control a little bit in the beginning where they were going after people like everyone and z's on sorry that like had a bad date that wasn't oh. necessarily a me too but the girl did a whole op-ed you know piece on it about what the date was like and everyone was kind of like i mean that was like a bad date it wasn't like he was do you know what i mean he was just kind of a clueless dude and they were they went on a date they were drinking they went back to his house he was clumsy Mm -hmm. when they were making out and like just you know i just felt that you felt bad for him so there were there were some and like years later nothing was said until like Someone said something. Is that what you mean? Like came, she came out with it. Like she didn't tell him. Like, hey, that really bothered me. Yeah, and that's what he said. Or like, like, dude, why don't you? It just was fine. Text we we me talked. That, like, yeah. And then out of nowhere, okay. So then everyone, like, you know, there was a joke that like every guy in Hollywood was like, holy shit, just waiting for some girl that they did something, touch their butt, or the girl didn't like the date, or they like broke up with them bad, or something, because See? it was just this moment of craziness it's settled down for sure now but um we can't people we, can't do that though i and all that pisses me the fuck off yeah you know because I mean? then you don't the believe bitterness people someone yeah. being bitter some girl right because this happens 
Uh, we're humans. We all make mistakes. We all do stupid shit. There, you know, there, I know there's some people out there who are very bitter or upset and they want to see someone's career like taken down mm-hmm. or they're really upset because maybe they went for them and they didn't go back, go for them. Mm-hmm. And so they cry rape, even though it never happened, or they take a very small situation and make it into something bigger. Mm-hmm. And everyone wants to believe the victim, right? Yes. We want to. Yeah. Because and that was the we chance. never want to shun a victim. Yes. We want to say, hey, we're here for you. This is awful. But when you're doing it purposely to take down this person and you completely destroy this person's mm-hmm. life, and then later on when the truth comes out that that wasn't, it didn't even happen, unfortunately, they now did disservice for all the other girls mm-hmm. after them who report stuff like this, who get brave enough and strong enough to speak about it and say, hey, this really did happen to me, and people going, but did it really? Yeah. Because as much as people do want to believe it, right, mm-hmm. and say, no, we're in your corner, we believe you, but... Even though this girl lied and this girl just lied and this girl lied because yeah, yeah, yeah. they were trying to ruin this guy's career, mm-hmm. take him down because he he didn't want to go on a date with them, whatever it might be. Right. Like, that is what really pisses me off. Yeah. Because that ruins it, it. Yeah. For everyone. Yeah. As but in, the the only difference now is that, you know, you just need to come with... It just needs to check out. And I know it sucks, but that's how it is now, so... Absolutely, you know, I think it's easier for people to come forward now, but they just need to have some receipts. That's all, right? Which sucks because sometimes you don't. Yeah. But that's Either way, what's still happened. Come forward so with they it, can come I forward mean, now easily, right? A lot easier. I hope people feel like they but can. But they need to back it up because there has been so much fucking craziness with the, the beginning of the Me Too. Whitney Cummings has a f- funny thing in her... Uh, in her stand up where she was like guys you know uh are like ex- ex- complaining about the me too movement mm-hmm. right they're like what i can't even hug some girl at work and she's like you can never hug a girl at work do you yeah, know what i mean that's like, awkward as what shit do you mean? what I the can't, fuck oh so what's wrong I can't fucking make out with some chick like she's just gonna whatever it's like no like it's fine but Maybe you don't hug someone at work. Yeah. You're going to be okay. You know what? Just calm down. In the military. It'll all, it, it'll all um, level out. Yeah. I think we're at that point right now, but it was fucking crazy sure. for a second. Yeah. Sexual assault has been a problem in the military, as you yeah. can imagine. It's it's different it in different branches. With, though? It's yeah. different in different branches. Apparently, it's terrible in the Marines. Like, god awful. Really? Because... It's they have a lot less females in the Marines and uh, those males, I've seen them just drag females down and like some of the most yeah, yeah, god yeah. awful shit that they say to them and they say it in person. It's, it's a lot that yeah. these people have dealt with. Yeah. Um, Air Force isn't as bad, but they do sexual assault training, mm-hmm. right? They do bystander training. So if you see this, like intervene and say something and they teach you different ways that you can go about it. Yeah. Um, it is yeah it's one of those things I have had some of the most awkward briefs though like I just did um, I was just at a different base recently we were you know doing an inspection at it and they had like the OSI agents come in and give like a little brief about the area and what to be like careful of and everything and then all of a sudden they had like one of the guys would be like hey yeah so uh, you know like Keep it, you know, nice with everyone. Like, uh, we get, like, a lot of, I guess, complaints here about, like, assault and stuff. So, like, stay away from that. <laughs> and the people were like, they got they got in a lot of, tr- a lot of trouble from this brief, yeah, by the yeah, way. Yeah. Anyway, but they were like, yeah, so uh, people, apparently people are, like, offended uh, by, like, nipple twisting and butt slap. So... Let's just like even though that's not really a big deal like people are reporting it so stay away from doing that and I'm in my head I'm going is this like guys doing titty twisters on yeah, each other what are we talking like, about here yeah to other guys yeah, yeah, or yeah like who the fuck does that at work to a chick like who I've never even had my nipples twisted like yeah I was like this is really this weird. is crazy and I remember we know, I'm in a room full of just higher ups and they're all saying they're going I'm going to fry these people. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But it was one of those things where I was like, oh my God, this is, that was awkward. And it's not always like that. You know, you can tell the guy was uncomfortable publicly speaking. Right. And didn't really know what to say. Fucked it up. And then the other guy had to come in and say like, no, hey, whatever. 
I don't care what it is. If it makes you feel uncomfortable, please come to us. We'll handle it. You know what I mean? He had yeah, to like yeah, yeah. clear it up. I was like, okay, well that I'm glad you cleared that one up. You know, but because that was fucking confusing. Yeah, but I mean, I can only imagine. Um, I've talked to some of my Marine girlfriends before, and just in the environments that they're in, I can't speak for their situations, but I just know that it could be bad. Yeah. And that they have been working on it. I mean, it's the same thing with veteran suicide. It's sad and it's tragic and it should not be happening right. at all. Um, we need to be taking care of each other. We need to be insulating, not isolating. Yeah. We need to not. And, it, you know, it even happens to our veterans where they get out of the, you know, they get out of the military and they feel like they lost that community. And that's one thing I love yeah. about drinking bros and the whole network so much is because it feels like you still have that community. Yes. Because we should never be leaving, you know, an airman, wingman, fellow soldier whatever you want to call it alone yeah especially when they're going through hard times and so with the suicide rate still being like 22 a day Mm -hmm. which is it's crazy dude. so sad to me that anyone feels so alone you know and so just at that point in their life like i want to help like i want to be like what can i do yeah to help you well drinking bros and drinking broettes does help a lot so it was started just yeah. for that reason of like don't ever drink alone like and you don't have to drink but that was sure. the idea mm-hmm. and um like don't take a car bomb or something and let it sit there <laughs> don't curdle and then don't, spit back into yeah. it and drink it like you don't have to do that but you know you can reach out to the group and there's always like you say anything and you'll have 20 people that are like no you know what i mean I and talking to you and w- we'll meet up um they have different you know subgroups in pretty much every area so just join drinking bros and i know that's how we help i think think that's amazing i mean that's pretty much all you can do right is just have some kind of community and hope that um that that works i mean i don't know it was what a month or two back i was um tagged in a post uh from the air force has like a special warfare community so it's um are it's kind of like the more like elite jobs in the yeah. air force and so a bunch of us like jared including were tagged in it mm-hmm. and it was just like a it was like a fellow tac p guy and i think he was a veteran he had gotten out but he was kind of pushing out information as if he was really depressed and could end things soon like right. talking in that way right and so this guy didn't know really any of us but tagged a bunch of us in it just mm-hmm. said like hey i need he maybe just reach happens. out to him I'm sure sometimes it's like, let's see what happens. Like, are these people really around or what? Like, sure. Yeah. I could, I don't, I hope, I don't know what it is, but either way, I am so for reaching out and just saying, hey, man. And so I didn't really know what to write because sometimes those situations, like, you don't really know what to say sometimes. Yeah. Right. It's just kind of with a death or, yeah. You like don't know. Right. Or mm-hmm. a miscarriage or anything. Like, you mm-hmm. want to say the right thing. Yeah. And so, like, I'm here for you. Yeah. Um, so I wrote him and I said, hey, man, um, just reaching out. Like, I hope you're doing well. I know you don't know me, but the community is small and we all have each other's backs. Yeah. And I just want to know, like, how awesome you are. Thank you for all your service. Thank you for everything you've done. You are, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. just kind of building him up and telling him that, like, how much he fucking rocks. Yeah. And how the world's a better place with a minute. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, and that anytime he needs to reach out, let me know. Any of that stuff. And he was very, like, he was like, thank you so much. I was going through a dark time. I'm getting over the hump. Nice. And anything to me, like, helps. So, like, for sexual assault, rapes, you know, suicides and all that, I know it's not going to be zero, but I would love it. Yeah. Not even just in our community, the military community, just obviously. Yeah. That's a, that is a far-fetched uh, goal and dream, but yeah. I would love that. Yeah. Um, if we can all treat each other with respect and, you know, be there for one another. Especially, you know, when people think that your life is worth living. Yeah. I know it gets pretty bad, but it's amazing. Yeah. And I just, I don't know. I want everyone who's ever been in a spot like that before to know that the world's better with you here. Yeah. People do fucking love you. A lot of people love you and a lot of people care. Um, you might not feel it and you might not know it at the time, but reach out. Like yeah. always reach out. There's tons of people who want to talk to you. Suicide hotline. when you get on the other side of it you can help other people absolutely yeah Yeah. there was um i made a video like on my page i'm normally like really funny goofy right weird chick on social media but for some reason um 
the song spoke to me just going through like hard times mm-hmm. and being triumphant over them like getting through it even though it sucks because i've had we've all had hard times right um and i've definitely turned to alcohol for those hard times in the past and then i had to push through it yeah and realize that i'm i'm stronger from it and i don't need to let this weigh me down and so i made kind of like a video to a song that told that whole story right and it wasn't about suicide but i'm eventually did say at the end of the post like if you ever do feel like you're so lost in this dark place and it's never ending like there is hope Mm -hmm. and please reach out to someone because we do care you know and i just put the number just in case yeah yeah and um i went to walmart like a year like you know that was like a year ago and i went to walmart i was returning my cart back and there was a gentleman who came up to me he's like tiffany and i was like hey and i'll say like I'll be honest, there's been some people who've came up to me who noticed me from social media, and it's really uncomfortable for me. Like, I'm like, this is Uh, weird. Yeah. Because I'm just a normal person. And he's just like, hey, I follow you on social media. I was like, oh, hey, man, like, what's up? And he immediately, you can tell, was kind of emotional. He's like, I just want to tell you, like, thank you. And I was like, what do you mean? And he was like, your video, like, helped save my life. And I was like, wait, what? And he started to cry. And if, like, it, luckily it's at night, so he can't see yeah, me, yeah. like, not trying to cry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He told me that he lost his wife. His wife committed suicide. Oh, my God. And it, w- it came out of nowhere. Yeah. It came out of the blue. And he was like, I, he have, I have two sons. And he, did, he goes, it destroyed my world. He's like, I'm, no, I was, I'm nothing without her. Yeah, He's yeah. like, I was lo- left lost with so many questions and wondering if it was me and like you know what i mean he's like i have been in so many dark moments where i felt like i wanted to kill myself too yeah he's like in all honesty the only thing that's kept me alive is my boys yeah you know yeah yeah not wanting to leave them alone in this world and knowing that they need their dad yeah and he's like there has been some darker moments and i was having one and i came across your video on your page like i follow you and you had posted it and it made me feel like i have hope like I need to continue on from my boys. Yeah, everyone has dark moments. My wife did, but you know the way she, that she went out is not the way I need to go out. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, there's more to life. Um, I know it might suck now, or they're suffering, or whatever. And I just was like, oh my god, I'm like good. Like, yeah, <laughs> I didn't mean I didn't know that was gonna help people yeah. like that. But I just was like, oh my god, yeah, of course. Like, yeah. And I think eventually I did post it like on my other page because of him. Yeah, just to share it. I was like, I'm so glad that you that you realize that you are loved. Yes. And that your boys, like your boys world, like revolve around you. Like yeah. they need you. Yeah. And um I was like, I was so glad that you didn't. That's um, awesome. Because it's you know, I do feel like the world's better with him. And yeah. it is. And his son's life is better know with him. What's gonna happen with those yeah. boys? Absolutely. So even though you might feel lost. Yeah. There's always hope. Yeah. You might not feel it now, but there is. So I've been through some dark moments. And like I said, this, I feel it. this group, I, I think stuff like that, it's, yeah. it's, it's mainly stuff like that. So that you, you know, someone will come up to us and say the same thing. They just feel like they can reach out to us. They can talk to us. Good. Um, they feel like no matter where they are, they could put out a post that they need to meet up or they're feeling bad. And there'll be at least, you know, 10 to 12 people that will actually go and meet up with them no matter what time it is. Because that's really the uh, focus of the group Mm -hmm. is to make sure that people don't feel that people don't feel alone, whether you are military, whether you're not, you know, just feeling, you know, feeling a community and everyone needs it. That's what it is. So I love that. That's awesome. And the drinking broettes are the same way. I know. I noticed that for women. And so they are constantly like, hey, I need help with this, this and that or advice. And And it's. Just like, girl, I got you. A hundred comments. Even of, if it's like, hey, this is, might be an unpopular opinion, or you might not want to hear this. Yeah. But here's what I think. Yeah. You know what I mean? Do you have drinking broette? I do. I do have a drinking broette. Who's the drinking broette of so, the week? The drinking broette of the week is my best friend, Charmaine. Um, Charmaine and I met in 2005. So we've been like best friends since, yeah. which is, I love the death. I remember when her mom was like, Tiffany's going to be one of those lifer ones yeah so when she was younger she had spinal cord issues and her sister actually just recently had surgery too but they both have had their spines fused and so 
Charmaine and they told her like, hey, you're probably not going to be doing any type of sports at all, yeah. let alone like running. And she got a full ride scholarship for hockey. Shut and that's up. how her and I met. In yeah, Mis- yeah, yeah. So we were in Missouri. I got a, a full ride for track. She got a full ride for hockey. And that's how we met. And we was lived in the same dorm. So she was proof that no matter what they say, you, you can, can still follow yeah. your dreams, right? Love that. She is by far one of the most amazing women that I have ever met and know. She met a douche canoe mm-hmm. and she you know, married him. And at the time, he was a great dude. But as after the do. first kid, he started becoming super flaky. He ended up cheating on her, what she found. So when she has like a one-year-old and a one-week-old, he decided to fucking just bail on her. Like, and he took her car. Yes, he took, like, I remember I drove to her house. I lived six hours away. What a loser. And he just was like, hey, I'm out. Because she was holding him accountable, saying, you can't cheat on me. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And he was like, I'm going to do I what I like want. I don't like that, yeah. Because he's a douche. And so he just up and left her. And she could easily let the bitterness take over her. Like, on, I'm yeah. sorry, some mothers do mm-hmm. with their, you know, yeah. exes. And kept the kids away from him. But she never did that. She was like, no, I, they need their father. I will never keep them from their father. Even though he treated her like shit. So Dang. he would have, in my mind, he almost would have deserved it. Yeah. Right? But she kept that relationship. Um, even though... You know, he was absent. And finally, she did go to court. And he doesn't have... Un- until he pays child support, which he never has. And that's been, like, since 2000. Lord, I don't oh know. Oh, my God. 12. Yeah. You know what I mean? And uh, anyway, she's done it all on her own. She went to school on her own. Took care of the kids on her own. As a single mom. And now she's met an amazing man. And, uh, you know, I'm sure they're going to get married soon. And she's a great mother to not only her two kids, but his two kids. Oh, my God. She's just amazing. She's awesome. I love her And that. positive and is just hardcore drinking broette material. Listen, she's great material. And if we ever had her on the show, she can tell you some of the most fucked we up should. drunk stories about me. We should. <laughs> if you think the pooping one's funny, just Ugh, you wait till what Charmaine has best. to say. <laughs> All right, ladies. So Charmaine, that's just to you. Charmaine. Yep. Cheers. Drinking um, broettes. Thanks for thanks sticking for bearing around. With bearing us. through that's not even a, the right thing to say either yeah, thanks bearing, for trudging through thank you for trudging podcast. through this fucking episode i'm gonna go puke oh oh there yes we go. oh yes episode and then i need a ride to my car there we go i got you episode seven in the books ladies this is jesse wiseman the gorgeous jesse wiseman and the super pretty tiffany hart thank you until Good next night. time <laughs> yeah you've been watching every move and plotting Next move on, every girl I'm moving on. Yeah, don't y'all better things to do? Yeah, go buy some fucking shoes. Yeah, your ear.